Good evening to you, Kirsty. Yes, I'll be with that special guest in a moment. But you join me in Oxford Street, which I think is appropriate ahead of this fight. It's a huge contest, a huge heavyweight fight. It's also probably the biggest commercial fight in British boxing history. And who sent his stage on it? Well, a young man who's rapidly becoming brand Joshua, Anthony Joshua, I'm talking about, of course. You can hardly miss his face on billboards around the city. He wants to be boxing's first billionaire, and I just wonder whether that's a little factor in this contest. Maybe is he at the point in his career where having a lot of money will make a difference to him? I'm going to be speaking to a fighter, incidentally, who made his money late in his career when his feet were probably already a little bit more on the ground to get a perspective on that. He's also a fighter who is very much part, potentially, of the heavyweight picture in the next 18 months. It is, of course, the world cruiserweight champion, Tony Bomber Bellier, who is standing by to speak to us live on Sky Sports News right now. Well, I want to congratulate you first, Tony, on that fantastic win over David Tate. And I will ask you... Is your future at heavyweight? We hear that you're in touch with uh, with Tyson Fury's camp. Would you like Tyson Fury to be your next fight? Every man and his dogs call him my name, so uh, we'll see. I am a heavyweight, yes. And uh, the goal, ultimately, is to become heavyweight champion of the world. That's the dream. Uh, I've already beaten the second most dangerous heavyweight in the world. And uh, why can't I defeat some of the other ones? That's the question. Why not? How far can I go? We shall soon find out. Well, we'll maybe talk about that in a moment, but let's talk about this heavyweight fight taking part place this week and, and also about the, the financial factor uh, possibly in play here. We've got a, a young man, Anthony Joshua, who wants to be boxing's first billionaire against someone who's made a lot of money over the years and for whom money maybe doesn't mean so much anymore, Vladimir Klitschko. I just wonder, was it Nigel Ben said, the more money a fighter has, the, the more painful the punches are. Do you think in any way the money Anthony's piled up has in any way affected his competitive mindset. I fully understand Nigel's comments and I agree with them to a certain extent but I can also see means to disagree with them. Vladimir Klitschko was financially secured a long, long time ago. This fight is about one word and one word only for Vladimir Klitschko and that's legacy. Vladimir Klitschko wants to go down as one of the great all-time heavyweights and this is the fight that can probably catapult him to that kind of level. This is the fight where he goes down with the Muhammad Ali's, the Lennox Lewis's, the Mike Tyson's of certain errors. It's this kind of fight that does that for him. For Anthony Joshua, another guy already financially secure, being on the big stage, was out, you know, he's, he's fought in every way, captured the gold medal in his own country. He's had the big time. Now it's time for him to earn his place on that amazing ladder of heavyweights and amazing fighters so both guys i don't think are doing this for the money i believe both guys are doing this because they both want to create and leave an amazing legacy in that ring and i think we'll see that on saturday night yeah. it's interesting listening to, to vladimir klitschko it sounds like he really fancies the job i just wonder has he identified a specific technical flaw that he's seen uh, in Anthony Joshua which he thinks he can exploit we all see weaknesses in fighters that we're facing you know it's, it's inevitable every fighter has got a flaw I just think this is the first time I have ever heard Vladimir Klitschko talking about this is his signature fight this is the one that him and the late great Emmanuel Stewart said this is the one that really leaves the legacy for me so I believe that going into this fight I think Vladimir Klitschko knows what he's in with. He's in with the modern day Mike Tyson and he's not going to underestimate him. I definitely believe he underestimates Tyson Fury. A real slight blip against Dillian White but listen, every, there's not a fighter alive who's got in a boxing ring who hasn't been hurt. The good thing about it is Anthony Joshua got hurt and showed that he can come through it. Showed that he can go on and win by KO. So we're going to get more questions asked on Saturday but ultimately we're going to get the answers that we're all looking for. Is Anthony Joshua the complete package of heavyweights? Is he the future of the heavyweight division? Is Vladimir Klitschko prepared to go in there and give it everything he's got and not be gun shy and not be scared? All these questions need answering and we're going to find that out on Saturday night. That's great stuff. Just looking around here, this interest level is incredible just for, a, I suppose, a little gathering. We're going to talk about the yes. fight. Never mind the two fighters aren't here, but... 90,000 people at Wembley and Eddie Hearn over here has made the point that Anthony Joshua would not be human unless he felt severe pressure for going out there and, and, and performing on that stage and I suppose living up to 
all the potential which we think he, he has. Is Vladimir Klitschko rather better equipped to cope with all of that than, than Anthony is? I think pressure is the wrong word for Anthony Joshua to use here. I don't think he's going to feel the pressure. Will he be a little bit more nervous? Yes. Will he feel the pressure? I don't think so. For me, this is the biggest fight of his career by, by a country mile. But let's not forget, this is also the biggest flight of Vladimir Klitschko's career also. So he, the two of them are going to get a bit anxious and feel a bit of the nerves. It's just a mega, mega fight, and it's one that captures the imagination of everybody, the public. It's got crossover appeal to the mainstream. It's just a massive, massive fight, you know. Uh, I'm looking very forward to it. 90,000 at Wembley, they're going to eclipse my mate Carl Frotch is 80. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's, it's just got mega written all over it for me. Yeah. I mean, it's only three years ago that he was on that, that Carl Frotch, uh, George Groves bill on the undercard starting the, the, the night off so that reflects how quick his, his rise has been one final thought Tony while you're here the referee David Field an American referee not had too many title fights how key a role might the referee have would there be spoiling tactics potentially from, from either fighter we've seen Vladimir Klitschko seem to, to, to grab on yes. in, in some fights over the past he's got a big role to play and I remember when Mike Tyson and Lennox Lewis was announced I always remember the announcements of the referee it was a big deal to the late great Emmanuel Stewart I believe it was Eddie Cotton who refereed that one and he played a pivotal role in not allowing Lennox to bear down on Mike and lean on him and push down him because Lennox was such the bigger man against Mike Tyson that will not be the case I don't feel in this fight I don't think Anthony Joshua when Vladimir Klitschko does get close I don't believe Anthony will just allow him to tie him up Anthony Joshua is the kind of fighter who once you get close to him he will unload rapid combinations four, five and six punches at a time Anthony Joshua is the quickest punching heavyweight quickest combination punching heavyweight we've, ever, we've seen since Mike Tyson I'm not saying he is the new Mike Tyson what I am saying is I haven't seen a heavyweight since Mike Tyson get in front of another heavyweight and throw four or five, six punches even and not have a care for what's coming back at him. That's the kind of fearless fighter that on Saturday, that's the exact kind of approach he needs to take. He needs to put it on Vladimir Klitschko. Let Vladimir Klitschko feel that power, you know, experience that speed because he's never experienced speed like Anthony Joshua has in his life. And this is the, you know, this is the $60 million question what we all want to know. <laughs> Can Vladimir Klitschko turn back the clock? Can he galvanise himself to, to, you know, to work with Anthony Joshua, do what he needs to do? I'm not so sure. Me personally, I'm going for the Anthony Joshua KO victory inside the first four rounds. But, and I stress a big but, if this does go past four, I believe it's going to be a very, very hard night for Anthony Joshua because Anthony Joshua has big event experience and Vladimir Klitschko also has big events experience but what Vladimir Klitschko does have that Anthony Joshua doesn't have is big fight experience going into the later rounds being behind on points being cut having to get off the floor all them things could play a part in this fight if it goes past four rounds if it doesn't that's great but it's a big big worry if this goes past four rounds I believe that experience will play a factor check yourself before you wreck yourself please subscribe to our channel just click the subscribe button by the arrow. And please give the video the thumbs up. Thanks for watching.